Hello and welcome to another Adobe Training Tip of the Month from your friends at Head Tricks Training. This month I'm in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014 and I'm going to show you how to remove color casts, improve your images, and basically kind of color correct them a little bit so they look nicer. And we can do this using a color adjustment layer, or actually an adjustment layer, either curves or levels. Uh, a lot of people say levels are for black and white and curves are for color. And I'll give you a quick intro to both. So you see I have a light marker, it's white. It can lighten the whites and the black marker can darken the darks. Or I have this histogram showing me here and the slider that I can use in the dark or the shadow area, I can increase or decrease, which will lighten or darken the image. I can highlight the whites by raising this up or bring them down to darken them. The midtones are in the middle lightening or darkening them and thereby improving the image by my visual eye which is subjective of course. I could also press the auto button which then kind of selects automatically selects the the whitest white and the darkest dark points and kind of makes the histogram accordingly based on those, based on those two points that it sets. I'm going to delete this and we'll add a levels adjustment layer. And again, you'll see the histogram here, but this time we have these little sliders for the whites, for the midtones to lighten or darken, and for the black or the dark shadow area. And again, the auto button. All right, so I'm going to actually throw this away and add it one more time. Levels or curves, either one can be done like this because we're not really going to be using the levels or curves adjustments. We're just going to be setting the black point, setting the white point, and then picking the color out of here. So to do that, I'm going to open up my info panel here, and I'm going to drag it over to the right so that I can visually see the info panel as I take my darkest darks and I try to select the darkest spot. You can see that it shows me the RGB values. In the light colors are higher in the dark colors. So I can tell that this is a very dark color, but I'm better off if I can click on change this to total ink, which will then show me the sigma value. And I'll see a percentage, which would be much easier to decipher what the darkest color in the image is. So I'm going to scout around. And I have, let's see, 265 here, 267, 270 in the woods. And it's like 270 might be the darkest point. So I'll just click. And you'll see that adjusts my image. I can go to the white point and do the same thing. Look around for the white at source in the image. The snow here is 41%. Her sock is 41%. The snow in front here is 33%. I think that's the lightest, so I'll click. And there's my adjustment. You'll see the before and the after. Before and the after. Hope that helped. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed this tip of the month from Head Tricks Training.